Hey, how's it going? I have reviewed both of these units in the past. Uh, this is the Myop Splash unit. This is the Pluto Trigger Splash unit. Uh, this is called the Pluto Trigger Valve. I just wanted to make a quick video here and talk about the differences between the two. Um, both of these are entry level water drop valves. Uh, they're very affordable and uh, pretty much right out of the box ready to use. So. As you can see, there's a little bit of difference in the valves themselves. Uh, this one uses a rubber stopper to plug the hole on the tube. This one just has a cap. Uh, so I would say that this is a much more polished unit here, the Myop Splash, uh, than the Pluto Trigger. As you can see, this one, the electronics are completely contained inside this box, whereas the Pluto Trigger, they are out here and exposed, which has, in the past, for me caused issues. The nice thing about it though is that the battery is just right there, easy to change. In order to change the battery on the Myops, you have to remove these four screws and take the back panel off. So the issue with this being exposed is that obviously we're using water here. If this gets wet, uh, it can short out and stop heat from working. I uh, haven't had any permanent long-term damage once I've dried it out. It's always came back on and started working just fine, but um, it definitely causes issues. <clears throat> this unit has a plastic nozzle and is plastic here as well, whereas the Pluto originally was plastic. So this was a plastic nozzle and there's a plastic nut on here to connect the reservoir. Uh, I had issues with that. A lot of other people had issues with that. I messaged Pluto and they sent me these brass fittings uh, to fix it with. Um, I'm not sure if they're now shipping these new with the brass units or not, but uh, really plastic or brass, there's not a big major difference. I don't think that one versus the other is a big uh, advantage or drawback. Uh, both of the companies have wonderful customer service. Uh, I've had issues with this one, as I just stated, and they were very quick to help, very, very fast to reply. Uh, these guys sent me this unit for free. Same thing. They were very quick to respond to all of my emails and uh, were very helpful in the process of getting everything uh, going. So that's um, just on the surface, the two differences. As far as the functionality goes, they're very similar. Uh, the MyOps unit comes straight from the box, ready to connect to your phone via Bluetooth. You just plug in your camera or your flash here and uh, connect to your phone via Bluetooth and you're ready to rock and roll. Nothing else required. The Pluto, however, requires this guy. This is the Pluto trigger, uh, which actually triggers your camera. So this is the Bluetooth unit that connects to your phone. Uh, this has a lot more functionality than this. So this is just a water dropper unit. This unit, uh, is similar to the Myops trigger, which I do not have and have not reviewed. Um, but it is, this Pluto trigger is required to run the Pluto valve. Whereas the Myops trigger is not required to run the Myops splash. So, as you can see here, so this is a charging port. Uh, the camera and the flash outputs are the same as you have here on the Myops. So, once you get the valve plugged into here, the operation is completely the same. <clears throat> Sorry. This is not for a flash. This is to connect ex uh, stuff like this. So you plug your valve into here and then this would go to your camera or your flash. So this is your output, this is your input. This one has two outputs. So in the software on the Pluto, is where you have the option to select if you're firing the flash or the camera. I've gone over that in the Pluto reviews. I'll link those down below. Uh, as for value for your money, this unit is $100 out of the box, ready to rock and roll and do water drops, but again, it only does water drops. This cost, if I remember correctly, $120, and this is an extra $30 or $40. So all in, you're around 100 and eh, close to 150 bucks, if I remember correctly. So this is a little bit more expensive, but you get a lot more functionality out of this. With this unit, you're only getting water drops. With this unit, you have the trigger and the valve. So the valve is the option, like an accessory to the trigger. This is a standalone unit.
Having said that, they both work exactly the same. I had great results with both. I've had great results with both systems and really don't have any complaints either way. So if you're looking to get into photography with the water drops and the high speed stuff, um, if you just want to do water drops, this right here, the Myops Splash, absolutely would be my choice because you don't need anything else. You just need this unit and you're off and running. If you're interested in doing some other stuff, maybe laser type photos, lightning photos, um, all that sort of stuff, this would be my choice. A little bit more expensive, but you get a lot more functionality with this box. So there you have it, folks. My comparison of the Myops Splash to the Pluto Splash unit. And just one more time, if you're doing only water drops, I would go this route. If you're doing a bunch of other high speed stuff, I would probably take the Pluto unit. That's all I have for you today. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos and have an awesome day.